We've been working on private wireless for probably the last two and a half to three years. And um, while it's taking off a little bit slower than we thought, uh, it's actually quite, the, the growth is actually quite predictable. And uh, we're seeing actually good volume this year on, on private networks. And we think of private networks as being split into two categories. One is in-building coverage uh, for neutral host or DAS replacement uh, type of, of use cases. Um, and the second is pure uh, private wireless uh, to go after mission critical applications like video surveillance, uh, automated guided vehicles, smart factories, smart warehousing, and so on. And I think that um, it's very likely that the neutral host market, the, um, the DAS replacement market, is really going to be the first market to take off. We're already seeing deployments, um, pretty significant deployments of in-building coverage using, for example, 4G and 5G small cells to provide in-building coverage at a lower cost than what you could do uh, with, with a DAS deployment and probably a faster deployment cycle than with DAS. And so there's a lot of demand building uh, for these neutral host or, or DAS replacement systems right now. And then we see a lot of really interesting proof of concepts in the area of video surveillance, in the area of automated guided vehicles. Um, but the solution there uh, is, is ready uh, to offer on a proof of concept and an early trial basis. But I think we need to harden it and we need to make it more scalable in order to see a, a more broad-based uh, liftoff uh, for that type of application. We're seeing very broad-based interest from the hospitality industry, for example, hotels, uh, restaurants, venues. Uh, we're also seeing across the, the education campuses, schools, universities, and so on, really just looking for uh, very high quality, pristine coverage for the smartphones on campus. Um, and what we're offering now is <clears throat> a solution that uh, can be deployed very quickly at a very low cost, uh, small cells that look a lot like Wi-Fi access points that can be deployed rapidly, integrated into the operator cores uh, so that um, you can bring your operator services uh, along with you into that in-building coverage. And I would just say that the demand is fairly broad-based. It's, it's all of those uh, industries that are that are look, looking for and, and interested in getting access to better in building coverage. Mm -hmm.